What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. And if you've been following the links above Amy's head, you already know who this mysterious person is sitting to the next to me in this mysterious room. All right, so just anyways, in case this is the person watching the video uh, that just clicked on YouTube, I'm Mo. I'm from the Undergrad Forum. Hello. And you guys already know my videos. This Amy Lee, fourth year college student at UCI studying neurobio. Mm -hmm. She's applying to medical school, taking the MCAT right now. There's a quick introduction. Let's get back to work. So we're, ha we're having a conversation today. MS2, college fourth year, questions you have about applying to medical school or anything about. Amy's got questions we're going to discuss. Hopefully you guys learned something. Amy, what's this? We're all going pretty fast here. <laughs> okay, talk show host. Uh, all right, what, what question are we tackling now? Okay, so um, I had an admissions advisor tell or hold a seminar and was telling some of us that if you want to be a competitive applicant, you should have at least all 15 um, activities filled out on the AMCAS application. Yeah, yeah. And well, I know a few people who got away with having less than 15 activities, so how important is it really? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's a math these questions. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, yeah, there's like 15 spots. Why not fill them up? You know, there's a reason they gave 15. And I think um, your advisor, uh, uh, it's like a really good point, though, that having 15 things you did, and if each of those things that you did has like a significant meaning to you, if in the description you can write something meaningful, not just I stood there for three hours and passed out paper and I don't know what I did. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you write something meaningful, I don't think there's any harm in having 15 activities. I actually know some people who told me like, they strategize and they put less than 15. Mm -hmm. I don't understand the strategy. I don't even know where it comes from. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like some kind of weird thing. But I put 15. Why not? If you can put 15 things that you are passionate about, you're interested in. I even know someone who, like, for one of the things they put, that they play, like, the flute. Because, oh. like, they're really mm -hmm. into flute playing. Mm -hmm. um, so she wrote it down. I don't have any problem with that, right? It's an activity that she really did in undergrad, so she wrote it down. That's not to say your 15 should be a bunch of things like that. You know, it should obviously be related to medicine or something along the lines. But um, I think you should put 15. Those people who, like you said, like got away with less, uh, I think that was a good term. They got away with less. Uh, there's 15 spots. Fill them up. Why not? If you guys have it, if you if you know the strategy as to why you want to put less than 15. Write it in the comments below, because I think everyone would love to know. I have no idea why that is the case. I put 15. I'm in favor of 15. If you don't have 15 things, you don't have 15 things, right? But if you do, put them on. Why not, right? Just make sure the things you list are meaningful. You ha you can you can write something that's actually showing you got something out of your activities. All right. So give us one activity you're going to put on there that you're, like, you're proud to put on. Um, I was a... Or don't make it lame. Don't make it lame. The viewers are going to kind of, they're going to hate you in the comments. Wait, so does it have to be something unique? No, it's anything you like. I don't care what it is. Okay. Um, it can be totally common. I've been a bio and o chem tutor for... That's lame. I'm it's kidding. Okay, it was for okay. seven quarters. Okay, seven that's a quarters. long time. Okay, that's um, good. I mean, I also do pageants for scholarship money, so... Okay, so okay that, that's actually good. That's actually hella weird thing for you. All right. <laughs> So, OCHEM, was it OCHEM and what's your name? Bio theater. Okay, that's good. Seven quarters, how, how, how many months is that? Or how many semesters? How many, how many oh my gosh, that's like at least two years. Okay, two years of tutoring. That is good on two different levels. My biased and never humble opinion here is what I'm going to say. <laughs> I think that's great. I mean, like, tutoring is great because it shows you know the stuff and you know how to teach. Knowing mm -hmm. how to teach is critical. Um, you'll do it as a physician, from what I understand. You know, you have to teach people stuff all the time. You have to tell people things constantly. And you want to do it in a friendly way so everyone understands. You don't want to confuse people. Mm -hmm. So, tutoring for that long is fantastic. And it's a long-term thing, not some little short random sprint. Totally good. You, and you can, if you can write a meaning about why you enjoyed it, what you actually got out of it on a kind of an intellectual level, perfect activity. The whole pageant thing, I don't know what the hell you're doing here. Like, <laughs> like Little Miss Sunshine or something you see on the No, no, <laughs> no, it's not that. <laughs> All right, so what, what, t t tell, tell the YouTube Nation about your little pageant uh, stuff. Cause I don't even know about it. Oh, um, it's under the Miss America organization, the number one, I believe, scholarship provider for women okay. in the world. Okay, sure. So um, they have local pageants around the city, and I just do a couple of them each year just to be able to have enough money for the school. And it really helps. I've gone over $5,000. That's good. And um, I really like it because it, it gives me a chance to 
showcase my talent so I can play the piano and have like actual an actual audience. Oh, I see. All right. Yeah, and um, they give us interview practices. So part of our um, competition consists of an interview, mm-hmm. and it is about a fourth of our um, score. Sure, that makes sense. And the interview basically simulates a press conference. So oh, that's kind to, of fun. Yeah, it's really fun. And you have to be on top of our like, news and you oh, know, nice. have to know all that stuff and be able to offer an opinion. Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, now see, there's much... Okay, so that's a pretty cool activity. It's going to be unique. Yeah. I don't think most people do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Most people probably don't do that. Um, but I mean, that's kind of a cool activity. And if you mention what Amy just mentioned, I mean, we didn't even practice this before. I kind of just put her on the spot to see what she would do. But uh, if you kind of write that answer as your activity, you know, what you got out of it, the kind of benefits, you can showcase your talents, you can practice these interviews, you got to be really prepared. Those are all character traits and things that people like to see in activity, right? Um, so there was two examples, tutoring and pageanting. I don't know. Uh, pageantry? <laughs> is that a word? Yeah. That's that's a word. Okay, yeah, and pageantry. Um, two things you can put on activities, really random as far as I'm concerned for the latter, but um, <laughs> as long as you can write a meaningful reason as to why it's important to you and what you get out of it and why it's important in your life, great to me. All right, All right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We're trying to make them short now. and we'll, So to watch the next video of the series, click on the link over Amy's head. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. Amy, thanks for being on the, on, on the undergrad forum. Thanks. <laughs> like a TV show here. <laughs> All right, guys, as always, enjoy your studies.